Are you tired of spending a lot of money and getting absolutely nothing you wanted? Head on over to MrMuttCoin.com for the cheapest, safest, most reliable coins on the net. And are you also looking for training points to power up that player to make him just a little bit better? Training is also available on the website. Link is down below in the description. All right, all right, all right. What's going on, boys? Welcome back to another Madden 19 video. Hopefully, you guys are doing fantastic. So we are back on the winning side of things. Back to back to back wins. A three-game win streak because we made the first guy. Well, not the first guy, but the guy, the, the first person I played after the losing streak. We beat him twice after he rage quit the first time, and then we beat him a full game after that. And then we beat the guy who ended the 10-0 streak with the Rams, with the Falcons. Now we're going to go on and bring out the Bungles, because the Bengals got Ross with 97 speed, A.J. Green, but more importantly, Bernard, who has the 88 spin. Now I'm looking to see if I can find anything like gold, like how the Panthers have, because they had a, a, a receiver with 88 spin. I was just checking. You can't blame me for checking. So as you guys see from the title, we have the uh, wonderful 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 privilege of going up against the rams again so again the Bengals, uh you know 80 overall i think 77 overall is that 80 overall and we'll take a look when we're done I, every time i save this in my settings it never saves i'm tired of doing this every single game but it is what it is um let me see what their overall was 77 overall 80 overall defense 78 overall offense but again i have someone that can spin so I feel like it's not the end of the world because I can utilize Bernard in a plethora of ways, which you're going to see this game. So uh, once I see the Rams, I'm like, sheesh, we're, we're in for a hell game already because we're severely outmatched with the team. But again, we have, I can't stress this enough how important someone that can spin for me is. Very first play, we hit Bernard and look at that beautiful spin right there. Just making people miss and being able to get so many extra more yards because of it. First and 10, we're looking. We got Ross with a 97 speed right there. And he is definitely going to be a big part of the game plan because he's just so fast. Very tough to keep uh, in hand on. So right here, we had A. And I was waiting for RB to, you know, just keep blocking. But he let go of his check and release at the wrong time. So right here, we go to the fullback underneath. And we end up just, uh, Eifert, excuse me, we missed the truck badly. <laughs> So on third and 13, I just need a few yards for a field goal. That's exactly what it is we get. Not the best way to start the drive, but we put up points uh, nonetheless, and uh, we end up settling for a field goal, which I mistakenly forgot to edit in. But, you know, you see we got three, right? So we end up settling for a field goal. So here we go, and I notice he runs, uh, you know, um, snugs a lot. You know, it's four receiver snugs out of a New Orleans playbook, and there goes that dive right up the middle. There goes that inside zone right up the middle the, the world's best running regs that i can't stop to save my life so we end up getting a sack right there with jackson right because we just sent the random cornerback blitz and he came in he goes underneath right there and we swing and we swing and we're just missing several tackles due to the juke and i'm like you gotta be kidding me so he hikes about one second left right before the quarter ends and he is pretty much nearing field goal range himself and i'm just trying and we were on aggressive and he catches us right there so we gotta go ahead and get off aggressive so on second and one, he goes on these. I did have a hard flat there, but Gurley ends up holding on to it. So first and ten, um, he ends up just beating me deep over the middle. Beautiful pass by him, and it's like, okay, we're in trouble here. We're, we're legit in trouble. I got to deal with Sue. I got to deal with Donald and Tlaib and Peters and Brockers, and, and he gets ball to half. So we got to make something happen here. But I, I end up putting Bernard on my shotgun package. Shwing! So he can make things like this happen. Shwing! Back to back. Spin moves. That's why we went ahead and put Bernard on the spin. On, on the spin. That's why we went ahead and put Bernard on the drag route right there. Because I know if I could get him the ball, I can create mismatch moves like that and give myself, you know, good uh, open spaces to, you know, make things happen. So just to try out a different defense, we're gonna tr we're gonna run five two on him. See how he does. You know, he might struggle with it. First drive, he doubted me up. We end up getting a sack. So okay, we're we're gonna stick in five two. Then, um, then right here, you think he's slick. He's going to try and block it. We'll just motion it to the weak side. And that way we can go on ahead and, you know, and right here he doesn't get it off in time and he ends up getting a penalty. So right here I realize, oh, he, he struggles against the 5-2. He doesn't know how to block the 5-2 consistently. So we're going to consistently call it until he, you know, makes me pay for it. I'm not getting out of it because he's struggling against it right now. And he goes to the side right there. And a user, well, not a user, but a big interception right there by Kirkpatrick right there. Puts us in prime position to go on ahead and score from the 17-yard line. We end up going to a toss to the left. And I'm going to go that man again. Bernard, it feels so good to spin. Now, I'm going to use plenty of teams that have running backs that cannot spin. 
probably 80 to 90 percent of teams do not have one running back in regs that can spin and that changes a lot of things and those games are going to be diff very difficult but for the games where i do have someone that can spin you best believe i'm gonna try to give him the ball as much as possible because that move is so so great that you got to take advantage of it so right here again the five two is just completely eating him up he does not know how to stop it and I literally stay in it for the remainder of the game. Like, he's sliding the opposite way. It's not working. He just does not know how to pick it up. Because he's refusing to block extra people. If he just blocks his tight end and his running back, he'll pick it up with no problem. But he doesn't want to do that. You know, he's, he wants to go on ahead and still send his four or five routes out there while going on ahead and um, facing pressure. Hoping he can pick it up by IDing and sliding with, without, you know, using extra resources to block. Which is fine by me. Um, again, I definitely test out every defense at least once against someone just to see what they having trouble with. And, um, you know, it could be over G, it could be 5-2, it could be 3-4, it could be quarters, you know, it could be crossfire, it could be a lot of things. You know, I definitely want to see what it is they, they struggle with. And, um, you know, for him, it was 5-2. And once we went in 5-2, it just changed everything of the first half after he just had a flawless drive, his very first drive to score a touchdown. So uh, we're going to try our best to see if we can sneak in field goal range here before the half ends. We don't have any timeouts, but we do have about 30 seconds or so to play with to see if we can get about 25, 30 yards to get in field goal range. So right here, we hit him with a, a fake. We step up in the pocket. We throw in the run, but unfortunately, it was just a, a very poor throw. So on second and 10, now he runs 3-4 um, odd uh, show blitz baseline well baseline show blitz which you know he sends a ton of people right here is not the best read and i'm like dang it it's okay we gave up a field goal before the half i should have just ran it out but it is what it is we did it but he decides to get greedy don't test the user he is so disrespectful though. somebody please give that gentleman a link to my channel you see his gamer tag in the top right let him know do not throw the ball my way as we just check it out for Ross, just hoping for the best, but you know, we get intercepted. But we head on into the half, up 13. He does get the ball, but again, as we end up doing a vicious King Kahuna yawn. But again, um, he's struggling with the 5-2, and then I was like, oh, man, if he's in this, this is going to cause trouble. The stack to the right, if he hits me with the toss, if he goes ahead and starts running out of this, then I can't shift weak side because he can run strong side. And just destroy me out of it. So I'm like, oh man, if he stays in this, I, I might be in trouble. Like, I might be in trouble if he stays in that formation. And, uh, but thankfully for me, uh, he did not. He got out of it. I'm not really sure why. Because he was doing great with it. And he just he just got out of it. Because that would have changed everything. But I would have had to have gotten out of 5-2 if he stayed in that. But, you know, uh, he, he doesn't. So, you know, oh, a dropped interception by Kirkpatrick. That should have been number two. Third and 15 right here. And uh, he goes to the side right there, and I just completely misread it. That should have been my user. I should have been there, but uh, I played it wrong. So, uh, right, he goes over the middle. We do bat the pass down for an incomplete pass, 10 for 15. He goes in and hike the ball again. Quick pressure on the left side, and again, he's struggling with the 5-2. Third and 17, pressure just, you know, f just kind of fluffers, you know, not fluffers, but uh, gets some antsy in the pocket. Fourth down, he's going to go for it. Fourth and 11 right here. And he ends up going deep to the left, and we end up going for the swap, but it is overthrown. So, I mean, if he takes this three before the half, instead of being greedy, and he takes three there, it is now a one-possession game, and from there, anything can happen, but he got a little greedy. And then he leaves Bernard wide open to spin, swing, the spin machine right there, swing, the spin machine right there, and oh my lordy. And, and, and you guys got to keep it real. You guys see the difference in, in the offense from when I have someone that can spin and when I didn't. You know, it, it, it's just... Everything changes. I can run the ball. I can run the ball confidently. And now my opponent now has to prepare for the run. They have to prepare for the pass. And I give them the same look. And they just have to prepare for everything instead of just pass, 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 pass. Where I don't have someone that can spin and make people miss. Second goal right here. We uh, just end up getting tackled for uh, on the four-yard line. We end up going to a toss on the left side. And Bernard gets out. That's his third touchdown of the game, I believe. I believe he has one receiving. They made us go for two. I hit A thinking it's a PAT, but they made me go for two, but we end up connecting on it. Um, Bernard has three touchdowns. He has two rushing, one um, receiving, and how did we get 28? Who scored the fourth? Oh, yeah, it was, two, it was a field goal and two-point possession and stuff like that. So um, Bernard scored all three touchdowns right here. He's just checking the game. is pretty much over at this point. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's videos of us using the bungles. 
against the Rams. That mean Bernard just was an absolute monster for us. Didn't really get AJ Green involved at all, but we were too busy using Bernard and uh, and uh, Rose. But again, man, leave in the comment section what team you guys would like me to use. I, I can't believe he caught that. Like, I'm dumbfounded that he caught that. But leave in the comment section, man, what team you guys would like me to use next. Um, we're back on the winning side of things again. This is a four-game win streak now. So we should be 14-2 and at the starting 10-0 and and then losing back-to-back -back games. But um, we won with the Panthers twice. Big boy on. We won with the Falcons and now with the Browns. Plenty of teams I haven't used yet. So, you know, there's the Bills, the Jets, the Patriots, the Vikings, the Rams, the the Cardinals. There's so many teams. Let me know what team you guys would like to see next, and we'll go on ahead and pick one for you, boy. Um, as you guys can see, 28, uh, 119 passing yards, 70 rushing yards, just absolutely dominated the game. On both sides of the ball. Once we switched to 5 2, he had no idea how to stop it. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to keep calling the same play until you stop it. I could care less about variety. I could care less what you think. I could care less if you call me a bump for one on one play. If you can't stop it, I'm not going to stop myself. You know, your job is to stop me. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and be signing out. Appreciate your support as always. Until next time, peace.